Hi, this is Talking Tabletop, and we are going to go over our top five expansions, expansions. today. As always, uh, joining me this week is Trevor, and I am Danny, and we are here at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we're going to do our top five board game resident gurus. game gurus, yeah, yeah. Game nerds, geeks, yep. whatever you want to call us. We've been called worse. Um, we're going to go over our top five board game expansions. Now, there is one caveat to yep. this, and we wanted to clarify that. And we decided not to include any games that could be standalone yeah. base sets. No like, standalone expansions. Like uh, Dead of Winter, Dead of Long, Winter Night Long Night was the first uh, one that Boss we came Monster up with. Boss Monster 2. Yep. Those are um, fully anything, standalone. Anything that is its own playable game yep. on its own is not technically an expansion. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. that's, so that's its own game that does work with the original. Right. So. And so, which leads me into my number five, mm -hmm. uh, which I do have to, you do technically need it to play mm -hmm. the base set, and it, because it's a plug and play scenario, and that's the Prophecy of Dragons from Time Stories. Uh, the fantasy themed one where you're going into an alternate timeline, and okay. you are basically inhabiting yep. all these warriors uh, that, are, still that are fantasy themed. But time stories, I you can check my other I'll, top list. You know how I'll be much honest, I like. I, it. I was not on board with the whole time stories legacy game thing um, until I saw the Prophecy of Dragons expansion, and that yeah. one actually is the one that has interested me in the game. And I'm gonna have to invite you over and yeah. play it with you. It's yeah. been I think it's been long enough where I don't remember all of it, and I can yeah. show you it. But yeah, it's it's incredible. I I can only say so much without giving away spoilers. Mm -hmm. But it's the fantasy themed version of that. Yeah, just like just and, like a uh, Seafall or yeah. uh, Pandemic Legacy or yep. Risk Legacy. Mm -hmm. You can't really talk about the game because the moment you do, yeah. you, you've you spoiled it. Like, yep. you, you gave it away. Um, any escape room game like Exit or Unlock, you know, you can't yep. talk about that game. You can just be like, it was, it, it was, was just, so it was so fun. You and trust me, it was there so was, good. Um, <laughs> well, I can't say that, but yeah. it, yeah. There was this one time where we laughed You're trying to tell your friends ourselves. how much yeah. fun you had but you can't actually tell them how much Why? fun you had. It's like it's like a trip to Vegas is these expansions. Right. So. <laughs> it's, I had a lot of fun, but I can't tell you why. Yeah. It was just, just trust me. Go to this street. You'll enjoy every minute. Anyway. I had to get a pill, but I'm fine now. <laughs> uh, my number five actually uh, was just eked out. Again, if you watched our video last week, uh, there was an honorable mention for the card game Brawl. Um, because it was eked out by the game Hero Realms. Mm. So... Um, my honorable mention is Pretty Pretty Smash Up by uh, oh, Paul okay. Peterson for, for the game Smash Up, just because it is the most powerful expansion in the game. It is Bright pink box. It is fairies, princesses, kittens, and unicorns, and it was designed to be the most powerful factions for the specific reason, and this is the designer's words, and I quote, I wanted people to scoff at kitty unicorns, and then you crush them, and next week they come back playing kitty unicorns. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Paul Peterson. Um, funny. I did. I did move it out because technically, technically, pretty pretty smash up is a two-player starter set. No, so it no, could it's be not. a standalone. No, it, it just because it can be played. I, I think that's a fair be. a fair point on our uh, list. Yeah. But yeah. So it got eked out because of the Hero Realms Character Packs expansions. Yeah. Uh, the five asymmetric starter decks, uh, Fighter, Mage, or is it Warrior, Mage, Cleric, Ranger, and Thief. Uh, yeah. Wizard is one of those. Yeah, ma uh, Wizard instead mage. of yeah. Mage. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you have an asymmetric starter deck now. You actually play as certain characters. You each have different starter health totals. You have special ability cards. And this leads right into their next expansion, which will be the, the Ruin of Thandalar um, co-op expansion, where you are now playing as heroes in essentially a co-op adventure card game. Yeah. So the character packs for Hero Rocks. And I might even knock this one off, depending on how good the... Co-op one is. We'll yeah. have to find out. Yeah. Wait and see. Uh, my number four is pretty much any add-on pack for Pathfinder the Adventure card game. Um, I specifically put the character packs because you can get those right at the beginning and you can play them straight through the base scenarios. Mm -hmm. But um, this game, you know, you play through three to five scenarios in the base set alone. Mm -hmm. And then in order to continue the storyline, you buy like the you know $20 add-on pack. It's pretty cheap, but it gives you new characters or some new characters, it gives you new items, new yep. monsters, new weapons, and a brand new storyline that continues the overall arc. Yeah. Um, it, it's awesome how it works. And yeah, that is 
character packs for Pathfinder Adventure card game or any other add-on packs. Cool. Uh, so my number four is going to be uh, Takenoko Chibis by Antoine Bauza. Um, I think if you watched our strategy games list, I've already talked about it enough. As it makes Takenoko a decent strategy game. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, easy enough. And mine isn't much of an expansion. It just makes cards bigger, basically. But it's yeah. a 1910 expansion for Ticket to Ride. Um, yeah, because you, you're handling the small cards. It's just not not as fun. But when you get the big cards and then a few more tickets, mm -hmm. uh, it just made it made already one of my favorite games one of my more favorite games. So. Yep. The, the 1910. Ride 1910. Or 1912 if you're playing Europe. Yeah. yeah. My number three is going to be King of Tokyo, King of New York, either one, uh, the power-up expansions. Uh, because it finally gives them the different monsters different abilities and makes the game that much better. Um, now it actually matters which monster you play as. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter. It, it was thing. pointless. So... Yeah. Um, yeah. If really, you like King really of Tokyo, cool. yeah. yeah. I don't get the character out of the King of New York, yeah. Yep. Um, my number two... Wow, we're just rocking in through these. Yeah. Uh, my number two is the Harbor expansion for Machi Koro, yep. and that is because not only did it add more cards, it, more of what I wanted, it changed yeah. how the game is Drastically played. Drastically changed. You used to have a tableau of cards that you had built from, Absolutely. and that was all you ever played. Yep. This... You shuffle everything together yeah. and deal out 10 unique. Yeah. It changes the game. It, there's no start game mechanisms. So now you can't just adjust. run in and be like, I yeah. know that Orchards is the strategy to win, so right. I just bought all the Orchards at the beginning of the game, <laughs> right. and now you're screwed. Yeah. The, yeah. This expansion is so good that now copies of the game are being shipped with that alternate rule set saying, yeah. you need to play it just, this way because this is really the way. the base yeah. game by itself says that's now the rules. Yeah. Um, my number two is Takedo Crossroads. So it took oh, Takedo, one, one of my really favorite games, Takedo, um, and then adds a secondary option for each stop on the road and just doubles the amount of, of playability in the game where now it's like, well, I don't really want to go to the temple and pay money in. So instead I'm going to buy a charm for a coin and that gives me some new special ability. Yeah. So... Takedo Crossroads. Matsuri is good, but you have to have Crossroads to play it, so Crossroads is better. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, man, my number one, Seaside Dominion. Mm -hmm. uh, the Doubled yep. the amount of cards, or actually no, it added 300 cards, so it nearly doubled it, mm -hmm. but added tokens, added duration cards, so if you're already familiar with how Dominion works, the, basically imagine playing any card and then yep. doing it again next turn. Yep. Because that's how awesome it is. Because a lot of the duration cards are really cool. Um, it had like a few mats. It added just yep. all, ev almost every single card in that set. It was just, just something I enjoyed. Yeah. yeah. It was really good. My favorite of all the Dominion expansions that I have. So. Speaking of improving an already good game, uh, my <laughs> number one is going to be Plaid Hat Games Mice and Mystics. Downwood Tales. Yeah. It is not a standalone expansion because you must have the base game to play, but it literally... It costs as much as It did more... <laughs> yeah, it costs as much, but, if not more. I think it might be $5 it, more than the base game. Yeah. But you've got eight new double-sided tiles. You've got more minis than the base game. Uh, frogs and weasels and uh, fire newts and all kinds of different things to fight. A new 12-chapter storybook up from the original 11 from the base game. It just absolutely uh, astronomically improves the amount of replayability in Mice and Mystics. Um, plus you get my new favorite character, Ansel, who's uh, the warden. He has a, a cool purple shield and likes to kill snakes. Yep. So if you like any of those 10 games, uh, we strongly suggest yeah. you check out the expansions because that not those took it from a whole new level yeah. it's, for it's us. More replayability. That's a no-brainer. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So check them out. Uh, once again, join us for next week where our uh, category is uh, uh, something else. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks.